Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. Today we're going to work on Susan. And specifically, we're going to work on the stake size for her. So, I've been wanting to finish the bed to actually make it look like it actually resembles a truck. Uh, and that I haven't done for a very long time. I've made these probably 10 years ago. I think I remember how I made them. We'll see. Uh, nonetheless, I'll get them made. I already have the two pieces that were cut the length a long time ago. And uh, we'll go ahead and finish them off. And I'll show you basically what I did or what I think I did to make these two pieces. So I'll go ahead and cut the time lapse and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first part's done, and I made it out of basically just paper, uh, construction paper or poster board, if you want to call it. Now, the reason I made it out of this is because if I make it out of anything thicker, the variance of one side versus the other, if it was thicker, will be different on this. So no matter which way I put it, whether it be this way or this way, it's the same thickness because there is no thickness to this. So when I go and I will grind all this stuff off, get all the rust off, put this down, then no matter which side I put it on, this side or flip it over and then put it on the other side, it's gonna be the same, uh, same template. So we'll go ahead and go out there. I'll grind it all down. I'll time lapse all that, cutting it and everything like that. And then I'll come back in and I'll show you how it turned out. And then we'll uh, weld it together after that. Okay. So I got them both cut, and yes, I did set myself on fire. It's not the first time. We'll, uh, I'll discuss that later on in some other video, some of the accidents I've had with this, working on this vehicle. So again, just burnt through my favorite sweater or my favorite hoodie, so I'll get another one. Uh, so basically what I'll have to do now is weld this all together and as I, or tack weld it all together first, as I bend the items down and get everything set, I will have to clamp these up because it did spread out because it is under tension when they weld it. Now that it's not under tension, it widens out a little bit. So I do have the clamps. I will clamp it up as I tack weld it in. And then once I get the whole thing tack welded in to exactly where I need, I will do the final welds over it and then again, grind the welds flat, kind of like they are here, where they're nice and uh, rounded. Again, this is a long time ago. There will be a little bit of body work to it. Anytime you hammer metal and stuff like that, especially this thick metal, it seems like it, for me, it doesn't seem like it is perfectly smooth and it's really hard to to uh, bend back in the shape so I will put a little bit of body filler over it 
fill in all the the gaps and stuff like that not the gaps but the uh the dents and stuff like that make it nice and smooth before i do the final paint once i get all this welded up i will trim the ends like it is there at the 45 degree i just didn't really want to mess with it right now i do i will do it later on this will give me a little bit more stability so we'll uh cut to that and uh, time lapse through that and hopefully I won't catch myself on fire again. Wish me luck. I went ahead and made one, a uh, complete one. This is the one I made now. This is the one I made earlier, uh, 10 years ago. There's a lot of things I need to repair on this one. There are some cracked uh, where the weld didn't really hold all that much. I was using an old uh, flux core welder, so it's not the greatest. Now that I have a nice uh, Miller welder, it's, will compensate for the fact that I'm a complete shit welder in the first place. Again, I can grind like nobody's business. As you can tell, minus the fact that the different uh, grind marks and stuff like that, it is pretty smooth. Uh, I do have a little bit of touch up. Once we put a coat of filler over it and paint it, you'll never, you'll never notice that there's, it was modified or out of a basically a two by four uh, piece of steel so again this one i need to modify or this one i need to repair i also need to fill in the bottom where this one already did that so doesn't even look like there's two pieces so i will go ahead and fix this one make the other two uh off camera and or make the other one and fix the other one off camera and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so both sets of stakes are done. I have basically one for the left side and one for the right side. And we will be assembling these after I basically build the uh, bed frame and the bed sides. So bed frame is next. It won't be right now. It'll be in an upcoming video, probably two or three videos from now. Uh, the reason being is I still need to get the metal. I still need to cut it. And I do need to get some more uh, welding gas. My uh, tank is empty now. So, again, thank you for joining. And uh, hope you like it. And hope to see you next video. Thank you.